Amazing. Just amazing. We can take it outside. It's uh, 11.35 and <laughs> the rain has finally stopped. We're seeing some sunshine for the first time in about 24 hours, which is sweet. Uh, we're going to do the, the King's Throne Trail today. So I think it's the most popular trail in the park. Um, a lot of, so the, the trail has a couple parts here. You walk up to the Cirque and you look at the, the King's Throne and then we're going to add on uh, to get to the summit here. So elevation gain should take us anywhere between six to eight hours. Um, this first part's flat, gets steeper, then we go to the summit, fingers crossed that the clouds stay, stay parted for us. This is a bit of a busier trail, one of the most popular mm -hmm. in the area, so we don't mind that. Last one we did, we're the only ones, and we've been the only ones on our last three hikes, so it'll actually be nice to see some people, and there'll be a bit more noise in the bushes, so scare these bears off a bit since it's berry season. Um, that's a little more comforting, and, uh, and yeah. Gonna be a good one. Here we go. All right, so now we're in the, uh, the at the confluence of the Cottonwood. So that's the big overnight, four to six days. And here at the King's Throne, blue sky is starting to come out. We're on the switchbacks now, as can as you can tell by my heavy breathing. But here's Kathleen Lake, that little area there. That's the parking lot where we started. You can see that little hut there. That's where we're camping. It's a beautiful lake. Still looks like the throne, the throne's in a cloud. So hopefully it's above the clouds, but this is beautiful. Right off the bat, the views of Kathleen Lake are phenomenal. Clouds are freaking me out still, but looks like they're getting lighter and lighter. So I think we'll be okay. Well, this is great. Even if you just did the, the first portion of this hike here, you'd be rewarded. With, uh, with great views for barely doing anything. You get to see the lake and the, the surrounding little lakes and areas. Beautiful. Feels like we're walking right into the lake. A little dive in. We totally went a weird, uh, a weird way up the screen. I think you can shoot it probably straight up. These clouds, they look pesky. Look pesky, but we might be able to get above them. Beautiful. It has been one hour and here's the throne. Laura's walking towards it. One, two, three, four, five, eight people. So we're gonna walk up that ridge line and around to there. We might even be able to come down that scree as something different, unless we wanna walk back the ridge. Lake's behind us, it's just beautiful. We are above the clouds and it's beginning to get a little more technical. I believe they call it King's Throne because that thing up there looks kind of like a crown from certain angles. And this would be like the seat. But yeah, God, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's the throne, exactly. We're less technical than we were expecting. It's not like a back, total backcountry route. It's actually pretty well hiked. Um, but we're not sure yet if that's the end point or if we're gonna go all the way to there. I'm thinking that might be the end point because I'm not sure there's some snow there. But we're definitely gonna go check it out. It's fun to be over the clouds. The, uh, the mountain range out here between Haynes Junction and Haynes is actually the highest uh, mountain ranges in Canada. So uh, that's what's so fun about hiking in uh, Kluwani National Park is that we're hiking the, uh, the highest peaks we possibly can in Canada, which is crazy um, and super fun. So I'm gonna focus back on hiking, but uh, like I said, if it was like this, it'd be more technical, but it's been well walked, so make it a little easier on the, on the team here. So we've just seen people walk in the ridge. So we are indeed going to the end of the ridge there, which is awesome. This hike is just, is fantastic. I love having all these views. I'm so excited to see the other side. Nice. This is a calf crusher for sure. Uh, a knee buckling calf crusher, but it feels great. I think that was probably, oh yeah. There's another lake just over there. Wow. No, yeah, it might be. That is Desa Desa Day. We might go kayak at that lake later because it's supposed to be really warm and really shallow. And Kathleen looks really nice, but it's really big. 
starting to see a bit more of the range on the other side, which is just beautiful. Fabulous. Wow. Every single turn you take on this hike is just so goddamn rewarding. It's just phenomenal. Water's so blue, so beautiful. Oh man, just wonderful. Cannot beat it. Can't wait to get to, can't wait to walk this whole ridge here. Here we are, we're getting our first look at the other side. Beauty, just gorgeous. Quite a bit of snow, little bowl. Looks like you can go to the left or up. I think we're gonna go up at first because that's the crown. And then we'll, maybe it connects back over to the left to get to the proper peak. Man, this is awesome. This is mind-bogglingly gorgeous up here. So the crown I was pointing to is that piece, I think, right out there. And we're following this ridge all the way up and around past that snow. And there's the summit. This is just breathtaking. Man, oh, you can't beat this. I'm so happy we did this one. Exceptional. There goes Laura. Here we go, baby. The Yukon, it's really, what I'm learning is it's really the hiking Mecca. It blows bam right out of the water. It's so much quieter. This is the busiest trail we've been on and we're sharing it with four parties. As we cross the other side, we can see huge, huge snow-capped mountains and two more lakes. Good God, this is just un real it might end up being our number one we thought patty was pretty sweet but this is pretty cool so this is that little section of snow i saw from the bottom i was wondering how to get over that but we're way higher than the snow so that's how the fog is awesome it kind of just keeps shooting over the mountain like this super fast with the wind and then disappearing which is great We are nearing the summit here. It's been just under two and a half hours. So our total day will be probably four and a half or less. This is just gorgeous. Lakes on all sides when the fog moves out. Just ecstatic. Such a rewarding hike. Uh, right on. Got some other people at the top. Having a little lunch. Just beautiful. Cannot beat it. This is just wildly gorgeous. Like this is just something else. Can't even write this, like I said, it is just so, so stunning. Um, lakes on every single side. You got the blue of these lakes. If we walk down here, we'll probably see the lake by the campsite. You can see the Dejeuner or whatever it was called lake back over the ridge there. Laura and I will walk down to this corner to get a full look. Oh man. I think this is my favorite view of this area. Yeah, this is a beautiful view. Here's a little tour of the summit here. A little bit of wind, nothing crazy. This lake is absolutely massive. Total stunner. And these little ones look absolutely beautiful, like a light kind of turquoise. Just for a point of reference, our campsite's just around that corner. So this, all of this is Kathleen Lake. We're seeing these massive boats coming in. We're thinking like, why are there such massive boats? Well, that's because Kathleen Lake is pretty much an ocean. And it even looks like it connects down there to some other smaller lake. Oh God, this is just beautiful. So you can see the entire ridge we hiked here. Started down there. We hiked along the ridge. You can see some hikers on there. Circle back up over to the to the summit there and now we're looking over the right far edge that i saw at the start that i was wondering if we would walk down to uh which we ended up doing obviously this side is not looks looks kind of exposed off this rock let's see here uh yep that's a bit of a cliff but not not too crazy so now we can see it all here there's the campsite right there you can see all the trailers kind of there's the boat launch parking and you can see all the lakes, Kathleen Lake wraps around and you can see the second part of the lake in the corner there that I was pointing to earlier. Just gorgeous. Good God, it's gorgeous. Yeehaw!
we enjoyed a PB and J, and we're spending more time at a summit than ever. Um, you know, there's a reason why, but <laughs> uh, we're gonna head down, and it's gonna be an amazing hike down. Just as nice the way up, and probably take us an hour and a half or so, and uh, and hopefully get for a swim and uh, get out in the kayak for a little paddle in one of these one of the many lakes. Maybe that baby one, more our speed. I wonder if how you get there. Baby Kathleen. <laughs> That one, right there. Well, we're at the summit and we found a cherry and lime spike seltzer, which Laura has decided she's gonna make hers. Um, that's kind of fun. I don't know if someone left this, whoever you are, shout out to you. Thank you. We're not gonna drink it on the uh, the way down because we're pretty full, but we'll drink it right when we get uh, to the campsite and we're hanging out tonight. So cheers to whoever that was. My favorite, a little ski screen moon bouncing on the way down. Whoa. We've been descending from the uh, the summit there for about one hour. Can't wait to go for a little swimmity swim. God, oh, that was just a fabulous hike. I've probably filmed way too much, but I really can't beat it. There goes Laura. Great shot. An hour and a little bit from the, the proper summit. We're coming back down to switchbacks beside the lake, which are much more beautiful than this morning when there's a little fog. Looking incredible. The blues are just beautiful. Should be about another 30 minutes to the, to the truck. And then we get rewarded with a nice little swim as if we weren't already well rewarded. We're back in the truck. The summit uh, was unbelievable. Um, Kingstone Peak, it's a must do, honestly. It was so sick. One of our best of the entire summer. Uh, we're back down to the truck. It was about five hours and 30 minutes and our moving time was about four and a half hours because we took about 45 minutes an hour at the top. So you can definitely uh, do it do it as a great, uh, a great day or it doesn't take too long if you rip it down, you know. So we're gonna go find somewhere to swim and then find somewhere to paddle. Alrighty, found ourselves at a beautiful spot right beside our campsite. We got the truck parked, the mosquito nets on, drying out the hiking boots and there's the mountain we just climbed. So we were just up there you can see the ridge, the King's Throne, and, uh, and the lake right in front of us, Kathleen Lake. And we're gonna go for a little paddle at some point here after having a nice little, uh, nice little beverage. How perfect, what a perfect day. <laughs> having a post hike beer. Yeah, it's vacation. What a great day, yeah, vacation and a vacation. Can't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Shilkoot Lager is fantastic, crisp as hell, cold and crisp, pure and natural, and it is beer worth freezing for. I do, I do quite like it, so fun to drink a beer that was uh, artfully crafted and canned in Whitehorse, BC. Yeah, okay. Beautiful spot here for cooking tonight. We're cooking up a beef, um, broccoli, onion stir fry here. Little bit of view, can't beat it. Bon appetit. How is it? Mm, so good. Absolutely delightful. Just breathe, 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 breathe.